hey guys so i was gonna do the video of how i had a, a toxic relationship but i think i have to go back to earlier before that before i do the toxic relationship and i have to talk about when i went away to um boarding school um for a year before i talk about that so this is uh, my story i call it boarding school um because it was in jamaica the country um and so i lived in a different country and went to school so that's usually what you go and say boarding school um it wasn't really a boarding school it was basically a school that the locals go to but i was a international student and i stayed there for a year now um how it started i was bad so remember my eating um disorder story if you haven't seen it it's on my fucking um channel you can go and watch it but i said that i used to steal money and lie and things like that and it kind of stemmed with food because any money that i stole i literally just went and ate um ate it like i bought food so <clears throat> and then later on i stole money because i was trying to sell you know get drugs and fucking cigarettes but anyway um i was really bad my i was getting out of hand my parents um couldn't really handle me i was lying i was like stealing from anybody anyone came from the house or anywhere i went i would try to find money and steal i like i was getting really bad and um i was depressed and that's why but my parents didn't know that at the time you know so anyway they couldn't deal with me oh if you're wondering what that is that is a cigarette burn but anyway um my parents really couldn't deal with me at the moment and they were like i don't know what's gonna happen to her and they're thinking like I don't know what to do and so I um they decided like hey we have friends in Jamaica because they used to come they come from there so my parents are immigrants they came from there they're like we have um my mom had a friend who worked in her old school Excelsior high school um and she told me to um you know, she, my mom's friend, told my mom that I can come to the school and she'll help me get in and I can live with her while I get in, why, 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 while I'm there. So, um, my parents, um, didn't tell me any of this. One day we went, um, one um vacation we went to jamaica and we went to look at the school and i didn't know that they were enrolling me in the school and it was like it was like spring vacation when we did it and that was and then the summer they shipped me off bro but um they decided to send me there and i was upset obviously i lost all my friends i couldn't get in contact with them they didn't know what was going on because i didn't know what was going on they didn't give me a chance to tell them anything and i ended up going into that school for a whole year it was my eighth grade year it was horrible but um i was really upset at first but then and then the um, people that i uh, lived with my aunt um you know it's a jamaican culture i don't know if it's every culture but you know if you have a family friend that's not related do you still make the kids call them their aunt so she's my aunt <clears throat> and so i live with my aunt and my aunt is very religious so they went to um and they're a seven day adventist so they went to church every saturday um uh, her husband was the pastor so you know they had two daughters and um basically my life was more in a church setting than the school setting because the school kind of sucked i 
it was a different experience it was a horrible experience it was so hot i wasn't used to the heat i slept most of the time but whatever um when i went to the church i met this guy and he was um i i don't know i wasn't very attracted to him but he was attracted to me so i said hey why not let's do this and you know he asked me out and we dated for a little bit we kissed and we did stuff but you know he was kind of a jerk pretty much he was pretty much a jerk and he um he didn't really I just dated him because he asked me and no one has ever asked me before and I just dated him but when he did I would want to hang out with him and he would just be like no I'm hanging out with my friends and it's like I only see you once a week bro like can you like pull your dick away from your friends like for five minutes bro like the fuck but anyway he didn't and I think I was the one that ended up like ending it and I was just like I'm not doing that like like and the reason why I ended it oh it's such a good story but the reason why I kind of ended it, like I started like I'm like okay whatever and there was like these back stairs that they used to um have and while everyone was like walking around with their boyfriend because all you did was walk around the church around and around like talking or chilling at a tree or whatever and like kissing and whatever he was playing with his friends like he was older than me i was 14 and he was like 17 but you know they're still like playing like dumb but i was just sitting in the back of the stairs and i was just listening to my music and just being bored and one day this guy came and he was like hey like what are you doing i always see you in the back by yourself I'm like, oh, you know, I like to be alone and listen to music. And he's like, oh, okay, I'll leave you alone. I'm like, no, 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 it's fine. Like, and he's like, oh, and then we started talking. He was like, oh, what are you listening to? And I just started talking to him. And he was like, you know, he got, he was into me. And he was like, okay, you know, like, and he was like, oh, I really like you. And I'm like, well, I'm dating somebody. And he's like, oh, yeah, I know. I'm just like, well, you know what? Fuck him. And I broke up with him. And then I started dating the other one. And we started dating. And I forget, oh my God, there was this one really bad fight because I don't know what happened, but I don't know what happened. And it was just like so awkward. And I can I can remember the awkwardness because I yelled at his like yelled at him, like, leave me the fuck alone. Like, dude, like why is your whole family like on t on top of me like relax and it was like kind of annoying and i kind of blew up and i just don't remember why i blew up but i blew up anyway those were the two boyfriends that i had um one was a jerk and the other one troy he was really sweet and we had a really good time like honestly i i liked him more than um than the other one i'm not gonna say the other one's name because the other one's name is stupid okay I'm not gonna <laughs> This is dumb, but um, yeah, Troy was really, really sweet, and I like he was a nice guy that I really liked, and he really, you know, we had fun. I remember we used to just like twiddle um each other's like fingers, like we just do like that. Just it was so sweet, like I so sweet. Um, but yeah, I ended up um later on after that blow up that i had with um troy i ended up going back to the other guy because the other guy was like oh i miss you and i all his friends were like oh he misses you and blah blah i'm like dude he didn't pay no attention to me and he we ended up like talking crazy about he wanted to have, have a baby with me i mean bro like i'm just like okay but anyway this is going to be a part two because, again, this is, it's actually kind of long, so. But, yeah, that's what happened um, for a little bit in Jamaica, yeah, when I went to school. So, see me in the next one. Peace.